Hi, welcome to Reaction Videos with us. We're here on our couch in Los Angeles, California. Our address is 123 Fake Street. Oh. You can't come over. You can't come over. <laughs> we did rent out Six Flags. We made that happen. We did. And you should all meet us there on June 17th. June 17th. Oh, you know what? Actually, it's true. I have a churro in my um, bag for you. <laughs> what? In your bag? Yeah. After I played golf yesterday, we stopped at like the food truck that's outside and we got some sandwiches and the guy gave me a churro while we waited and I ate half of it and I saved half for Whitney and Sunny, but it's been in my bag all night. So you probably don't want it. Like, I'm sure you guys don't care about that churro. I think they probably care about what kind of sandwich you ate. Well, I split two sandwiches with Mitch. We got a breakfast burrito and a chicken wrap. Was it good? Um, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, think about it. I just like it wasn't worth it because now my insides are turning my outside. <laughs> underwear elastic is folding in on itself due to the weight of my crushing belly. So I wore this oversized shirt today. It's all right. I just need um, all new clothes. I fit. Oh, your t-shirts are coming today. Good. I hope they're extra large. Whatever you ordered. What t-shirts from the, the great. great? Oh, you guys should order t-shirts from MerchDudes.com you or Cozy Co. And if you think about buying clothes from any other provider of clothes what are they called designers collections clothing lines companies any brands. of them don't calvin klein sucks <laughs> um Halston watch Halston. sucks you guys should watch Halston's for reals the show was good his clothes <laughs> don't buy them <laughs> bloomingdale's their clothes suck <laughs> I mean to Bloomingdale's. When I went to New York for the first time when I was like 13, all I wanted to do was go to Bloomingdale's and FAO Schwartz uh -huh. and see a Broadway show. Those three things. All I wanted to do was be left alone by my parents. <laughs> Leave me alone, mom. I also wanted to go to Times Square, obviously. Mm -hmm. Isn't that funny how that's what people want to do? Because Times Square sucks so bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I guess like if you've seen it in movies and stuff, you want to just check it out with your own eyes. Yeah, and when you're 13. What's up with your ears? I'm just feeling a area that I've never really paid attention to before that feels good to press. Where is like it? Like mine is so bulged out. Feel my, this bulge here. Yours isn't. Oh, yeah. I know, it's really bulgy. I think that's where your amygdala is. Do I have a big amygdala? You don't want to have a big amygdala. I don't know, maybe you do want to have a big amygdala. I don't know, someone tell us. Um, Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Previously Let's see on Holly's new hair. When things got tense in the house, Adriana found herself leaning more and more on Justin. Do you need anything at all? I just said, no. let's do it five times. <laughs> okay. Then Adriana and I finally had it out with each other and decided to work harder on our friendship. I'm sorry. What's up with her forearm? Right? I know, why was it shiny? Why do you have a shiny you forearm? You Heidi's sister out of the apartment. Heidi wants me to move out. Heidi and I want you to move out. Oh, it's two people that don't like you. Peace. Is there any truth to what Spencer was saying? I want you to stay here as long as you want to. But now, Holly was about to turn for help to the last person anyone expected. Me. Whitney. <laughs> Which, if that would be. <laughs> what are you gonna do? I don't know, I kind of wanted to go out. And... Well, if I didn't have like work tomorrow, I would go with you. Definitely need to meet people. I mean, the only people I know in this whole city are you and Lauren. Yeah, you should totally hang out with Lauren. She's really cool. Uh, no, I actually haven't. I tried to keep in touch with her, but you just lose touch with people. I don't know. Just what? You, you just lose touch with people when your sister spreads a rumor about her sex tape. It's like, <laughs> yeah, we know what happened. Really close for a long time, but now it's a little awkward, but that, I don't know. I can't like tell you who to I can. hang out with. While you're living under this roof, there's no Lauren fraternizing, socializing. Well, it would definitely be nice to see a familiar face. There's 15 million people in LA, and she's saying now she wants to go hang out with Lauren. I need to get out of here. Spencer, the total population of LA does not like have any <laughs> bearing. They're not all available to a f***ing Heidi's sister. She doesn't know them. She wants to be with a friend. Right. So I, that's the whole point. I hate when people use, like, yes, that is a fact, but it does not pertain. It doesn't apply. I object. I object! It's always a pleasure. Mm. <laughs> it's always a mm. pleasure. He's gone full bill. <laughs> Heidi, really, dog, you gotta... 
deal say something to him she has to yeah, yeah like spencer fine it's if it's gonna come between us fine she'll look for a place but like stopping such an asshole yeah, to my sister right. Be like, what dog 15 million people does not matter feel the rain on your skin do not keep going dude don't fall you let it bleed no one ask your skin <laughs> I'm like a grand a grandma. Yeah. When no one open two names, when you put the hands, the rest is yeah. still unwritten. Exactly. <laughs> it's not written. Yeah. When you do the Bucca impersonations, it's probably one of my favorites. Yeah. She's like, I'm saying, who do you belong to? It's you guys have to funny, know Bucca. You gotta know Bucca. She's dead. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my Well, it's true. Yeah. I don't know why. I There's mean 15 million people in LA. You're either alive or you're dead. Those are the Just two options. Just because you say dead like that doesn't mean you don't love her. Yeah, yeah love she's Bucca. dead. She's dead. <laughs> All right. She's an old dead grandmother. I hope you're not watching this mom. <laughs> My mom doesn't watch she this. She wouldn't care. My Who mom knows? doesn't watch this. I thought about it the other day. Mom, I have my own hugely successful YouTube channel you don't watch. She used to watch, but then she got, every day. she got too busy. Your mom. And my mom doesn't do sh Her knees are back working, and she's probably working on her tennis game all the time. Oh, she's like, she's too busy to watch her son's hit YouTube TV show? No, she's not. And you should probably talk to her about it this trip if you want to have a really smooth trip. Yeah. <laughs> How can we talk about anything? <laughs> LA is so cool and you can see the mountains back there. It is. Yes, I hope Kelly's being mean to someone so I can be <laughs> mean to her. What kind of muffin is that? I don't know. So what, good. what kind of what? Chicken. Oh. Yeah, muffin. 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 Muffins can be crumbly. Mm -hmm. I know corn muffins from Bellwood are crumbly, but I love them so much. Look at you eyeing that muffin. I yeah. Them so. <laughs> We should make that into a meme, right? <laughs> How are things with Adrina? Things actually have gotten a lot better. Really? That's good to hear. I think that that happens with all your friends, you know? Up and down. It's bound to. Yeah. Am I drinking a world market tea? <laughs> <laughs> so random. What? Holly, Heidi sister just texted me. That's so weird. Yeah. You're like, can I get my paycheck? <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. What did she say to you? She said she's living here now and that she wanted to see me. Huh. So how do you feel about seeing her? I mean, I'd love to see her. I just, I'm so reluctant because of the past. Why is she talking <laughs> like this? Can she please clear her throat? My really good friends. So then maybe you might as well see her and see what she has to say. No? No, I'd love to. I just don't want to cause more problems. Could always use more friends in the city, you know? Doesn't hurt anybody. It would just help if some of them weren't related to people I didn't get along with. <laughs> Seriously. You can't escape from it. That's just the way it goes. What? That doesn't make, even make sense. Your direction was encourage her to see yes. Holly, I'm sure. Yes. Incubus. Remember them? Mm-hmm. Love the Incubus. Hey. John Kingston. Not a perfect oh. person. Isn't that Incubus? There's many things I lose along the way. Oh, dude, you know it's Incubus. <laughs> Not a perfect big thing on, at least on the city, was like set design. Adam mm -hmm. was always like looking in the back of people's <coughs> shots and being like, we need something interesting. So I can guarantee this was just a black thing. Mm -hmm. And then they were like, they put up all these things. It was the mm -hmm. same at L. <clears throat> and probably like that white post-it to break up the black, exact right? Like Amando. every little thing. Yes. The lamp. Hi. Hi, I'm Kristen Loretta. Oh, good. Have you ever met the White Tie Affair? I've never met him, but I've heard of him just from the label. We have a showcase at the Roosevelt tomorrow with them. It's like big, big deal because, because it's the band's first time in LA. We need to pump up their new album. So we need to make sure that runs smoothly. And Kiara can't be there. So I'm gonna need you there to be my right hand. 
anything I need you for. Like, you just kind of, you just have to be focused. And it's a big deal because Charlie Walk, the president of Epic, is going to be there. I need you there to make sure that we have all the guests in there before the band comes, before Charlie comes, mm -hmm. so it looks full when he gets there. OK. And then we're going to have an after party, and you're just the epic girl. Can it be there for everything? Exactly. Okay. It's just really important that it goes on point. Mm -hmm. We have to run a very tight ship, especially this one. I'll have it under control. Yeah. All right. OK, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. Great. OK. Audrina's getting some Audrina responsibility. Audrina work storyline. <laughs> Was that a real song? <laughs> My goodness. But Lauren wore the highest heels. In forever. Look at you. Oh, no. You look so pretty. Thank you. You are too. It's so great to see you. I miss you. What? I miss you too. Oh. How long have you been back in LA? I just moved back. You just, like have an apartment and everything? Um, I live with Heidi and Spencer right now. Sounds tough. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely crowded. They, uh, it's, I don't know if it's working out too well. But yeah, I've been meaning to call you forever and ever. Like, I don't want the whole Heidi and Spencer thing to affect our friendship, you know? I mean, it obviously has no effect on, like, the way I look at you at all. But I had just gone through all this stuff with Stephanie. And honestly, it's been really difficult for both of us. It's, like, obviously not cool to break up, like, friends. But, like, family is, like, that's family. That's your blood. You don't mess with that. I don't ever want to put someone in that position again. Right. And I, I asked Heidi about it. She was talking about how lately she's just been feeling overwhelmed with how bad everything turned out with you guys. Mm, she needs to take account of, like... If she really feels that bad and wants to move on, then she needs to. But she knows that if she takes accountability, that she'll lose Spencer. So she, mm, you know, Heidi. like she can't really admit to just Spencer doing it, because mm -hmm. then... Give up on being friends with Lauren. Yeah. Up. Yeah. I was just yeah. thinking last night. We had the best time. We were like the three musketeers. I miss it. Yeah. So fun. Well, now that you're here, you can call me anytime you want to like chill. Yeah. It's so nice to be able to talk to you and have your number now, and hopefully I'll get to see you more. We can know your address <laughs> and like sleep under your bed. <laughs> Amalfi. Where is that? It's cute. I've never been here. No, no. They look really pretty in there. I like their dress. It's a skirt. Idiot. <laughs> cool name. <laughs> what do you say? Cool name? Cool name. Oh. These are a lot better now. Yeah. I feel like Lauren and Lo are really trying to make an effort. They are? And I am too. <laughs> That's good. I'm trying to like squash the tension, which a lot of it is. And it feels so much better now. You're really good at accepting people again, you know what I mean? Like you? <laughs> yeah, but our situation is way different. I just think it's bad. It's like I cheated on you. <laughs> so did you get my text about the white tie for? Do you want to go? The van? Yeah, I'm in charge of the guest list for tomorrow night. You're invited. Yeah, maybe. I'll try. I really want you to be there. If it's going to benefit you, I'll go, for sure. OK. It'll be fun. Thank you. OK. That's nice. Aw. A girl's butt, a baby, and dogs. <laughs> Welcome to LA. Morning, Andrina and Lowe's home. Here, English. Is that caffeine in it? Unless it's just caffeine free, it'll say. The blue rod water is a weird thing. Yeah, that blue water is weird. Okay, <laughs> get it. Get out of there. Get it out of my face. Are they growing a fake flower? In Do there? we like their backsplash? No. No. No metallic shiny backsplashes. Mm -mm. Yeah. Thanks. What do you got going on today? Work. Um, have you heard of this band called White Tie Affair? Yeah. Tonight they're having like a private showcase. So if you want to come. I want to come. It'll be fun. If you want to bring anyone, you can. Because it's my job to pack the place. All right. Lauren's tongue is so red. We're glowing stuff. OK. And there's an after party. Where is it at? The Roosevelt. 
Well, I invited Justin, and he said he's definitely coming. Yay. I know. Well, that's good. But he's been, like, super supportive lately. I think that he's always going to be there for you in that way. Yeah. So how's Stephanie lately? She's good. She's been kind of busy. Speaking of sisters, I did a lunch with, um, with Holly yesterday. She's fucking down. Heidi's sister? Yeah. Wow. It's kind of weird, Stephanie know, and then Holly. I know. She doesn't have too many friends in the city, so. Is she moving here? Yeah. I think she's living in their apartment. With Heidi and Spencer? Yeah. I think it's a good thing that she moved here. I don't think it'll be good for her, and I think it'll actually be good, good for, for Heidi. Heidi, because Holly's a good influence. Sometimes friendships are even harder than relationships. As we're learning. Like for Stephanie, now Holly, Lauren's like, yeah, I know. We like really can't come up with new storylines. Like we're running out of siblings. What about, you know, there's 15 million people in LA. Yeah, like get 15... some new cast members, guys. <laughs> but they haven't arrived yet, so, but it's like right now we have a good crowd, we can start. Cool, well, Charlie's in the back of the band. Let's go. Yes, that was. Fun. Mm -hmm. Everyone close, a little focus. Wow. A little freak, focus. Okay, so it's we're in pretty LA. Young. It's your first time here. The girls put together an amazing group of 250 select kids that love music and want to see you kick their ass. So thanks to you guys. Let's go do it. All right, so grab, grab a shot. Grab. <laughs> it's the White Tie Fair in LA. First LA look. Ladies and gentlemen, what's up, Los Angeles? Oh, no. Dude, these guys are kicking my ass. <laughs> Is that an actor now? Who? You want me to go back? The lead singer. No, no, no. I thought it was someone else. That guy. Hey. Is this the first song? He's already sweating that much? You're ready. Their signature was that, that high pitched. Oh. I thought Justin was coming. Where is he? I don't know. He won't have to do that. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> Did you get your ass kicked? I like that. Yeah, I got my ass. Do you think the president of Epic Records was happy? Probably. Frankie Sharp? It's just Charlie Walk. Hello. Hi. Where's Spencer? I don't know. I haven't seen him. Hmm. How was your day? What'd you do? He's normally here. <laughs> Uh, out and about, looking for jobs. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. I haven't seen you, I feel like, in forever. What'd you do yesterday? I went to some little bistro place. I actually, um, I went with Lauren. Really? Well, I like, didn't you're think... my best friend and my sister, and you didn't want to tell me? You just kind of went behind my back and did that? I don't know anybody here, Heidi, and it's not like I'm trying to keep anything from you. I mean, I'm just seeing you now for the first time, and... Yeah, but how am I supposed to feel about that? You guys are both like little sisters to me. It's like... But I am your little sister. And you know that my loyalty is always Do to you. Do I? Yes, no matter so what. So can I not tell you things now? Can I not trust you Heidi, anymore? you should know me better than that. I know, I, I know. I just can't it's even just, believe this you This whole question. thing has been really... Hard for me. It's hard for me to hear even that you went to lunch with her. It's kind of, I don't know. You know me and you know that I was there, if anything, mostly for you. I know. Nothing's beyond repair. Ooh. I can tell that she misses you. Ooh. She was, she was a yeah. little like, mm -hmm. 
Got the little tingle. <laughs> All right, now we're at the after party. What? Oh, fun! I thought that night was over. I was no. looking forward no. to some after party. Late night stuff. Yeah. Yeah, that guy looks familiar. Yeah, is he? Who is Sean, the guitarist from the 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 White Tie Affair? White Tie Affair. Is he just Sean, the guitarist from White Tie Affair? Or is, is he also like in the Twilight movies? Right, right, right. Or like Riverdale. Um, we'll find out. You're alive. Your nipples are not here. Ooh. You know, oh, oh. Oh my god. Don't tell anyone at this party. My parents are here. Did you know that Spencer and Stephanie's dad is a dentist? Have I told you that before? Mm -hmm. Just like my dad, Doug. Mm -hmm. Doug. Um, I don't know what he's doing. We're gonna be a buzzkill. That was not their response to that. I'm sure Lo and Lauren have learned their lesson to like not hate on Justin Bobby. Yeah. Do you know what the BMG stands for? Um, something music group. I agree. Uh, Boner. <laughs> Bilingual. Mm, it's probably just boners. Oh, yeah. Probably boner music group. Yeah. <laughs> what was it? Everything Where were you, Kiara? Did you feel like it was something that like you could totally handle? Yeah, it was. I, you the know, guys are cool. Her bang trip. Oh, I met Charlie Walk. That's insane, though. It was like yeah. a good <laughs> well, I heard you go. Town and, and you were mm. there. <laughs> you didn't want to say it though. <laughs> You're getting and your bangs trim. They had an after party. Oh really? Yeah. Uh, at the Roosevelt. By the pool at the Roosevelt. They told me I could invite a few friends. So. Who did you invite? I invited um, Lauren. And she brought Lo mm -hmm. and Stephanie. And oh. then I invited Justin. Did Justin go? No. I didn't even hear back from him. You didn't at no. all? No. What's going on with that? I feel like I give, give, and give, but he never gives back. Right. You like know not to invest your feelings. I know not it. to invest my feelings yeah. in anything that I invite him to or anything at all. Mm -hmm. oh. He acts like he cares and not play Mr. Cool Guy all the time and just make more of an effort. Do you have still like that kind of chemistry though when you're together? Yeah, we do, but he just doesn't show that he actually cares, so he can't change people. Justin can't be tied down. He's a nomad. She's the one that has to put the kibosh on it, though, if she doesn't like how it feels. That's right, I oh, agree. So I forgot to tell you that I had lunch with Heidi's sister yesterday. Oh, yeah. I remember yeah. Heidi told me that you guys were like best, right. best, best friends. Yeah. Was great. She's just like the most like positive person. She's cool. So wait, did Holly call you? Holly texted me. I didn't even know she'd be back. Obviously, just because every day I went there with, like, with you, I'm a little like reluctant to bounce back to the way we were. Because I feel like I, you know what I mean? She's like, you know how she things went with you? So I'm like reluctant to like hang out with any siblings. <laughs> you know, like you remember how she, like much you suck? I don't want that to happen again. I think Spencer and Heidi are gonna do what they did to me. Stephanie's like, yeah, I suck. <laughs> I, re I do remember sucking. To her? It's just scary that she lives with them. Toast, classic toast. My sister went out to lunch with Lauren the other day. Did she know Lauren before? Like when yeah. you were friends? We were all friends. It was like the three musketeers for a while. We were all hanging out and we were all together. So I'm not gonna say don't be friends with her. It just makes me so sad. Because, well, I mean, it's not like, know. yeah, because it's not all bad. You no, know? Lauren and I had this little time of fighting, but we had years of a friendship. We were best friends for years. I'd never even had a best friend like that. Two years. It's just so unfortunate how things have ended in our lives and how we don't have our friendship anymore because she didn't like my boyfriend. And then I said things out of anger that I didn't mean. Oh, okay. I don't know. Maybe Holly will like piece everything out or I don't know. She just was hinting. It does also make me nervous because like hanging out with her kind of makes me remember like how much fun we always had together. 
I feel like she feels the same way. I just really don't want her to get it in her head that she's gonna, like, fix it. Maybe one day by, you know, like a miracle, we'll be friends again. Did seeing Holly make you miss Heidi? Yeah. You always miss a best friend. Who knows? Maybe one day. Never notice. Mm -mm. You know who knows? We know. <laughs> And you all know too. <laughs> Sorry, 2006 Heidi. It's never, ever gonna happen for you. I miss you, Lauren. Wish we could go back. But we can't. We both live in the palace. <laughs> Do you want to know Lauren's address? I don't know. Lauren's address is 648 Chautauqua Way, Palisades Boulevard. Palisades. Palisades. Don't want Your feet are so arched. I know. I should have been a ballerina. But I can't point. Look at my big toe. Mm -hmm. It, um... It won't point anymore. Like you sh show them your point. Look at that. Look, his like really curved. My big toe won't curve with the rest of my. It inhibited me from being. Oh, you couldn't get as far as you should have gotten. I could have been a prima ballerinskis. I'm jealous of your vacay. Me and Audrina kicking it without you. Bye, Lauren. Bye. <laughs> Please come back. Where's she going? Okay. date with Doug. I know you and Brody have your differences. I'm staying out of that. Is it weird that you dated Lauren? Not at all. How would she find out? I don't know. I would just be careful. Italy was fun. I heard some things happen while you were gone. Wait, what are you talking about? The whole uh, Doug, Stephanie thing. She straight went behind your back. Yes. I like that. Drums, drums, drums. Drums, drums. Drums. Yeah. Doug is in for the kill. Is that the right saying? Doug is in it to win it. Do you, you think he's planning on murdering Stephanie? No, I think he wants to be on, on the, the show. TV show. I agree. You guys, thank you for joining us for another awesome episode. I was going to say rendition, but that's not the right word. Rendition is like a version, right? Another version that's of right. something. That's right. That's right. We're going to film another one because we're leaving town tomorrow and we want to give you guys what you want. Tomorrow in our time when yeah. we're filming. Not tomorrow when this premieres, which would be in the future. When we have arrived safely at wherever we're headed. My mind just we're there. exploded. We're there. And it looks like the next episode, the drums is about to explode. So come back in two days, if today's Wednesday, <laughs> or come or back three, or in five. Come back in five days, if today is Friday. Okay, sounds good. I'll be what there. What day do you think it is? <laughs> Don't eat that. That was so beyond my brain. <laughs> Yesterday, you did the premiere late. And people were DMing me yeah. and being like, what, is it happening? Are we getting one? Just um, so you know that- People are waiting, yeah. Yes. I'm a little afraid that we jumped a shark. Jumped a shark means like peaked. It's because in Happy Days, which was a really popular show mm -hmm. way before we were both born, the Fonz, they went to Hawaii and he literally like jumped over a shark while water skiing like in his leather jacket and then after that like the show went downhill and so now every time a show peaks they say i jumped a shark and yeah. you can normally tell i only think that because people aren't showing up to the premiere so show up to the premiere yo we were I... almost at five thousand, and now we're down to maybe getting to 2800. do you want me to tell you all why that's also happening yeah. it could be because we've jumped the shark but also could be because life is picking up and people are back to work that's true people are back to their jobs that's people true. are out of the house people aren't just able to just like sit on their computers and watch this stuff for 45 minutes anymore mm. so i think that that could mm. be the case too i'm not worried because because even if we have jumped the shark for the hills, because the hills is about to jump the shark, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that's true. That we are gonna hit you guys with a whole nother show. I had and an we'll idea have a for rebirth, one. or as the Italians 
would call it a renaissance. <laughs> I had an idea for a show we should do. What show? The show that Stephanie goes on and films in London, which is like... Made in Chelsea. The, made in Chelsea. Like a lot of people are pushing for Made in Chelsea. I've never seen it, and it's like the British version of this, and I feel like it could be fun to watch something we've never watched before, but mm. it's like in the same vein. Mm. A lot of the Brits want us to watch Made in Chelsea, and they're a major contingent mm -hmm. of this group check it out watch a trailer or something for it and okay. then and you let us know if that sounds good but i'll tell you what else is sort of front runners in my mind mm -hmm. laguna beach mm -hmm. which is laguna beach oh i actually really want to watch laguna copyright. okay let's do like what'd you say that would be easier for the copyright there you go laguna beach or that dating show on Netflix. Love is Blind. Love is Blind. I, I would say those are the front runners right now. I love both those ideas. Well, there's pros and cons to everything. Should we roll into the next one? Yeah, let's roll into the next. All right, peace See in the streets. See you guys next time. Peace in the streets. Peace in the streets. Ring the bell. <laughs>